Today I'll be going through three fraction of the remainder questions. The first two questions will be solved using model method and the last question will be using the branching method. Feel free to pause the video and try the questions first before looking through the worked solutions. Question 1. May had some flour. She used one quarter of it to bake cookies. So we're going to cut our long bar into four parts. Right in the middle. So she used one quarter. This is to bake cookies. Five six of the remaining flour to bake a cake. So we look at the remainder. I have three units in the remainder, but I need to cut it into six units. Okay, so now we get six units, and she used five out of six. So one unit, two unit, three, four, five. Two hundred and twenty-five grams more was used for the cake than the cookies. So for the cake, I have one, two, three, four, five units, and for the cookies, I have two units. So the difference between the cake and the cookies is five minus two, which is three units. So three units equals to 2 to 5. To find 1 unit, we will take 2 to 5 divided by 3, which gives us 75. How many grams of flour did she have at first? So if we're looking for at first, we're looking for the entire bar, which means from here all the way to the end. This is the question mark. To find the whole bar, we need to find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units. So 8 units equals to 75 times 8, which is 600 grams. A box contained red, white and purple buttons. Two fifth of the buttons were red and two nine of the remainder were white. This means if I cut the bar into five units, two units will be red. And this is the remainder. Two nine of the remainder were white. So if I look at the remainder, I have three units, but I have to cut it into nine units. So three into nine units means every part will get cut into three. And I'll cut this as well. So that they will all become the same size. Okay, and two out of nine were white. So one, two, two units white and the rest of them will be purple seven units for purple okay there were 160 fewer white than red buttons. So comparing the white buttons and the red buttons, two units for white buttons and six units for the red buttons, I have four more units for the red buttons. This means four units equals to 160, one unit equals to 160 divided by four, which is equal to 40. How many red buttons were there in the box? So I'm looking for red buttons, which is here. Six units equals to 40 times six equals to 240.
As you can see for the first two questions, we were able to cut the remainder into the exact number of units that we want. For this to cut into 6 units and for this to cut the remainder into 9 units. This is the reason why we chose to use model method for these two questions. For the last question, if you were to try and draw a model, you will draw 7 units and 2 units will be shaded for food. And the remaining 5 units cannot be cut nicely into 4 parts. This is why we are going to use branching method to solve this question. Jane used 2 7 of her money on food. She spent 1 quarter of the remainder on transport. So we're going to split open she spent on food and after that she had the remainder two units on food and five units for the remainder of the remainder she spent one quarter on transport so i want to split the remainder open this is on transport and the rest is saved so one unit on transport and three units saved because one quarter of the remainder is on transport so three quarter of the remainder will be saved okay if you look at this five units for the remainder is split open into transport and savings but this is total five units and this is only a total of four units so what we want to do now is to make five and four become the same number this is a very important step. So we're thinking of common multiple of 5 and 4, which is 20. So 4, you will times 5 times 5. And for the, and for the 5, you will times 4. And don't forget to times 4 here as well. So now we made this become 20 units and the sum of this also 20 units. Now let's continue with the question. If she said $600, savings is $600. This means 15 units equals to six hundred dollars one unit equals to six hundred dollars divided by 15 which is forty dollars how much money did she spend on food food is here and food is eight units so we're looking for eight units And this is the answer. Did you get this question correct?